Hey guys, so now we are in the malls and the car park area lah. So if you can see the entire theme of the mall is actually structural honesty It's a trend in uh, architecture where there's a movement called brutalism, material honesty They just expose everything and it's very difficult to show raw stuff That's why this has been the controversial topic when it was open Okay, so these are Palings and these are the structures that actually holds your entire apartments and malls and things like that lah. So instead of spending another layer or extra money right to actually do up the developer and the architect and designers They call it wayfinding lah, experts So they actually decided to do this approach and it's actually very very challenging to do so It means right at this layer like concreting right It's very difficult to make it smooth and make it a bit presentable lah, but this one not to Japan concrete standards, but I think it's, it's revolutionary really. Right, so Eco Terrace is right next to the main road of Terrace and it's actually connected to the MRT station. I think it's Mutiara, Tama Mutiara. So you can see it's a very new approach in Cheras, right? To have a landscape area and the whole Cheras landscape was actually changed with the connection of MRTs. Right? So now all malls, right? Like Leisure Mall, this Eco Cheras Mall and one more, a smaller one, I don't know what it's called. But all these are actually connected now via elevated walkway. So time for some architectural knowledge. This is actually ventilations to the car park area. So because as a Basement car park, right, it's very important that you have fresh air, constantly fresh air and it's either you use mechanical system or you can actually use this. So these are actually cost saving methods. Make sure that the car park downstairs and the basement is sufficient for users. Anyway, there's a lot of very infamous brands, your usual Starbucks, Wong Kong, all those sushi and a lot of like drinking places. So at night, I think it's going to be very happening. Okay, so you have still your fashion, your fitness and your grocers, everything lah. A lot, so I would say, oh, that's big. Okay, we are now at the entrance of the residence and I think this is Block J and I like how they set up the entire entrance, right? So it looks very grand despite the crude and the very brutal materials concrete, right? This actually stands out way more and it's actually connected via footstep to the mall. It's very important to have separate entrances for your mall and for your residence. If not, right, let's say your mall really business so good, right? As a resident, you cannot go back home, right? So that's the rationale and that's big. And today is her decoration day, meaning like she is here doing the final touches for the unit for this uh, friend of ours, right? And he's, this friend of ours is actually a property investor and he has been doing makeovers for all of his units. Lah. So now we are at the lift lobby and you can see that the height, wow, the height is super high. Oh, so they, they, they want to say high. <laughs> yeah, so I think previously the ceiling was not done up like that because it was too bare and too hardcore for a lot of audiences here. So the developer decided to actually put in some money to actually retouch up. It may feel a bit narrow and there's the people, there's still a lot of work ongoing. So per floor plate, it's going to be 6 lift servicing all these units. And uh, the reason for the super high ceiling right, is because of every unit here is a duplex. So they divided the duplex into block tower J and H, if not mistaken. This total project comprises of a few different functions. One is the mall that you guys seen just now. Then you have the office, you have the residential, you have the... Oh, and a hotel. It's a mixed development and we are now privileged enough to actually check out the duplex. First of all, this will be your restroom. This is the dryer and washer already. Because there's no windows, so you need a mechanical ventilation system for your toilet. Then what is provided? American Standard, uh, Grohe, 
Wow! Anyway, coming out from your restroom, it will be your living and dining. Next to it will be your, I won't call it kitchen, I'll call it a pantry. So the hood and hob is by Tika Basin. Uh, yeah, it's a good enough space for you to prepare sandwich. Uh, you want to tie it out, then no. Uh. Duplex has always problems with ceiling height. Uh, because you come in, you'll be so dwarf at the entrance. But this one, quite cool. What are you paying for mainly for duplexes is actually this double height volume. Uh. You get this super high window, and sometimes it's a good thing and a bad thing. It depends on how you look at it. If Good thing meaning you get this amazing view but your nightmare is how do you clean the window or you don't even clean, right? And aircon load might be a problem because of the heights and there's argument to that too because some say cold air actually uh, goes down, hot air actually elevates so on the living room you actually enjoy the cold air but your bedroom is upstairs so now let's go upstairs Okay, coming up to your bed it looks like that, a queen size bed. I think it's a king size, yeah. So that's your wardrobe and your ceiling height here then somewhat feels a bit, I think it's around 2 meters, 2.2. That's about it. That's why it's impossible to put a ceiling fan. So they put cute fans like this, alternative. So this is what our design team will make over actually for both. And the main thing if you like sleep here then you wake up, right? It's actually this view. So this view is actually very awesome. What I really like is the glass railing. You can only imagine if this is concrete wall or bricks, right? The space immediately feels very small already. Moving on to the bathroom. Oops. Okay, so this is the master bathroom where you have also American Standard, awesome. WC shower screen and your ventilation, mechanical ventilation. Okay, bathroom downstairs is only a powder room. It's not for shower. So it makes sense that that's why your dryer and washer is actually downstairs. Mm. So full height wall tiles because but the height. But nothing to complain like because it's a duplex, right? Height is always the limitation, right? And your cabinet space. Cool. And one thing to take note about duplex is always the stairs. It's a steel staircase, so and it don't have the noise of you know those squeaky <laughs> all those kind of stairs, right? So this one is actually quite solid. I like it, and I like the glass railing. Another thing to look out for duplex, right? Is actually the angular, like let me show you. Like this duplex, right? You feel it spacious, right? Because this side is actually open. This entire plate, right? There's no column holding it. How is it hold is actually via this beam instead. So this beam is to hold this entire plate. That's why this is rather thick. Okay. And you have weird corners like this, like the beam and the, this is the slab. Uh, so I think that corner is weird. This corner they did it quite elegantly. Okay, next to the staircase, there will be your aircon latch. Not really though. But yeah, your aircon is up there. Then this is where you put up your clothes. One detail I like is that this piece, right, this piece of tiles is actually slanted. I'm not sure whether you can see, but it's slanted. So when water splash, right, it will actually slides in. So it actually goes into the floor trap over there, right, instead of staying on there. So if it back flows, then oh. oh. Hey guys, so now we are in the gym and you can see the ceiling is also the same style and let's check out if you are on the treadmill, right? what kind of view you will get Yep, so you get to see Cheras Highway uh, Let's go <laughs> Okay, so yeah, main street in, but oh, the haze is quite bad Okay, that's this very cool structure that actually I'm so excited to try it's actually this bridge across tower J and H let's go walk through it now hey Scan Heng whoa <laughs> K 
けよそうすけいはい、so if you are afraid of heights then too bad for you lah but I'm very thrilled so we are now 250 meters above the level and you see Heng can't stop filming that so what I find it weird is that you look at there's a lot I think there's 8 to 10 BG full horsepower right aircons here is it required? I don't know but it's cool lah the bridge is actually to join both levels of facilities and it's because the users can actually share both sides of the facilities here you have some jacuzzis and some chill out zones for you to enjoy but there's no infinity edge lah too bad lah if not there will be a lot hey guys so I think that's all for the review it's now time for Sean take 3 on 3 3 things I like number 1 as an architecture student I think it's the star so this has been a controversial it's either you love it or you absolutely hate it kind of situation and I respect the designers and architects and especially the client uh, to actually take this approach because it's not exactly cheaper to do so but it definitely created a lot of uh, conversations around this particular development itself and it's very difficult to be bare and uh, brutal tastefully you know and I think the decision is very admirable from me I do like it. Number two, I really like is the location and the connectivity. So for information, this is a great example of TOD, Transit Oriented Developments, where it means you have offices, you have malls, you have the hotel, you have the residential, you have the Soho, you have the connectivity of the MRT, you have connectivity to the highway. In Charas, you want to go for old landed shop houses for their food also can and you also have uh, neighboring amenities like the UCSI and the uh, Icon Mall, uh, Cheras Plaza, they want to be old school but then you, you get the point, there's just activities in abundance in this location. Point number three, the duplex design. Duplex design is a very very beautiful unit if you do it nicely but it's a very high maintenance kind of thing so the designs that I really like in the unit is actually the glass railing. The glass railing actually just opens up the whole unit itself and then the corner edge like the column instead of uh, putting on the slab right they actually tie back to the upper slab so it actually saves space and open up the whole space and the build quality I think like for the handrail and the silicone glass railing right all those are well done. The only thing is the wavy walls lah. Three things I don't like. Number one is actually the density of residential in this area. So if you look into the high rises that has actually launched in this area, there's a lot and it's within like 300 plus, 400, 500 plus thousand. So they keep throwing price around this area. That might actually affect the price appreciation a little bit for the shorter times. But then this one still stands up because of the MRT station and the mall. Point number two is actually the road circulation design in Cheras that like I come here so many times already I'm still always lost I think the wrong turn and the wrong turn then you can U-turn then you cannot come back yeah so that's my frustration towards the road circulation here last of all the facility deck basic nothing much but just that they have this amazing connection and that has been the talk of the town highest tower with actually hollow things to actually step on so the developer wants to use that to control off like the gym is actually very small the pool is actually very small but you don't buy here for facilities lah. That's yeah. So I think that's about it for this review. Do I like this project? Yes, as an architectural fan, yes, because it's actually part of a movement of a different style. Then as for residents, do I want to stay here? I think it's fine if I work in KL because of the LRT and the connectivity to the highway stuff. For investment, definitely though. Mixed developments tend to fetch higher, higher rental. I think that unit is going for 2003 to 2005. The market here is 2000. When you invest, it's like five, six hundred thousand. So you are almost breaking even. Shout out to Heng and Vic to actually call me in for filming this because they were actually doing it so I just hijack and do this property review okay until next time if you really like this video like it share it and even subscribe for more information like this until next time this is Sean Dutch Ciao.